Yo, what's happening, people? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Captain GG, and we are here. We promised you it, and it's going to continue. The FC Isle of Man Build a Nation save within the Isle of Man is going to continue here on YouTube twice a week. We're going to have uploads on Wednesdays and Sundays. So, like I say, twice a week. Obviously, with F1 Manager now launching, that's going to predominantly take over the stream on Facebook Gaming. If you want to check that out, link will be in the description. Um, but obviously once the new football manager launches as well we'll be streaming that again on the facebook channel so again make sure you're hitting that channel up and hitting us with a follow um if you are new here like i say my name is captain gg for the last maybe five three four months uh, we've been doing a build a nation save over on the facebook channel and we thought we'd bring it over to you guys here for youtube so it can continue on we can still live and breathe and we're not just going to give up because we have made so, so much progress. Uh, so the first thing I want to do really is give you guys a rundown of what has happened so far in the save. So if we quickly just pop across to our club, uh, we can see FC Isle of Man. If we have a look at their history and the overview of such history. In fact, if we go for it this way. Nope. Uh, where is the other history? We should have another history in here general i mean this is this is a good way to do it so obviously we started in the vanarama national north now fc isle of man actually start lower than this we used the editor to put them up there but we didn't give them any extra budget or anything like that any extra players it was all a bunch of regions and quite frankly the team was terrible we were lucky to even stay in the division uh, that season we finished 19th the second season we got up into 15th it was a real grind but then we managed to get a little bit of a reputation boost and we managed to sign a few players that have dropped out of premier league clubs out of the academies and they finally decided to come down to us we then won the vanarama national league north finishing obviously first next season beyond that we won the vanarama national league so back-to-back -back promotions then into league two our first season in league two we finished seventh but it was a third promotion back to back to back. We won the playoffs, sending us up into League One. Our first season in League One, finishing 20th just outside the relegation zone. But and we managed to stay up. And again, at this point, money really started to become an issue. We had players on wages, but we really couldn't afford. We were losing money. Um, if it weren't for cup runs, we would have lost a lot of money. Uh, it was really, really bad at this point. We had to sell some of our best players to even keep other players around and just keep funding. Um, but then the season after that we managed to find our way up into the championship after finishing third in League One and winning the playoffs again. We are playoff masters or at least at least we were. Our first season in the championship we managed to finish sixth. We've been doing so so well but unfortunately a 2-1 defeat to Crystal Palace in the playoff final meant that we will not be going into the Premier League. Um, we do have another season in the championship to contend with um, as you'll see we are at the back end of august so today we are just going to do the um, transfer deadline day and then we'll probably just play the one game after that maybe two if we've got time but yeah as it stands in the season so far if we have a look at our schedule we've actually had a really really good start we drew a bournemouth 3-3 three, three on the opening day. We then beat Salford in the Carabao Cup first round, then beat Millwall and Bristol City, and then Derby in the Carabao Cup second round. Uh, so doing pretty good. Haven't lost a game so far this season. Um, Barnsley up next, and then obviously we have an international break, so it will just be the one game today. Uh, we are also the manager of the national side as well, but that has not been going too great. We've never had a competitive point unfortunately but uh one day one day we'll get a competitive point boys I, I generally believe we will get a competitive point soon enough but like i say with the national team it's basically just full of regens at the moment we do have a couple of players within the squad that's been here long enough to play for the country however charlie wiggett has been waiting on his paperwork for over a year now and that is getting really really frustrating like stupidly frustrating now i don't actually think he's ever gonna get it so the national team will take a while uh, the plan the plan actually is to get fc iron man as a stable premier league club once they are stable in the premier league we're going to be leaving we're not going to go and turn them into european giants we're going to leave and we're then going to go all the way 
over to the Island Man National Division. So we'll be taking a real step down, a really big step down uh, to go to the Island Man divisions, which we can see here. Um, there's only one professional club in this division at the moment. That is St. George's, who are a affiliate of ours. So we've helped them, we've loaned them players. Um, they do play in Europe every year, but unfortunately, not a single year have any of these teams actually made it to the proper competition they always go out in the qualifiers um but looking at this i saw this it was it was quite funny um st george's have not lost a game in about two and a half seasons like they've only lost one game in the last three seasons which is just incredible um so when we do decide to leave fc isle of man and come down to the uh, Isle of Man divisions, we will not be St. George's. Uh, the plan will be to be any of these other teams, get them to a professional status and then leave, and then go to another team in the division. Do the same again, get them to a professional status and then leave. Professional status, leave. Professional status, leave. We wanna make the whole of this division professional. I even might, I might even drop down into like the second division. No, oh, I probably won't do that. Let's be real. We're going to stay in the top division. Um, we'll probably try and get the job as one of the teams that are in Europe as well. But anyway, guys, let's get on with it. Let's get on with transfer deadline day. Uh, we will quickly just whiz through the transfers in which we have bought in so far this season. Just to give you all guys a bit of a catch up. Jacob Smith has come in. A really, really good transfer. This a young 18 year old for just £51,000. And he could now be worth up to £5.6 million. What a transfer that is. He's on 1.3k. He's going to come in from Sigma Olomok. I think I've definitely butchered that. Um, Niles Van Den Bok, who we've had for quite a while on loan again from Club Bruges. We've also bought in Batshuai. I'm going to call him Batshuai. Batshuubu. I don't know. We're going to call him Batshuai. Um, we'll get we'll get him maybe a name change on him. Also up for grabs is Smith. New regen. Definitely need a name change for him. One of you guys would definitely be able to be involved in the save with that. Um, Batshuayi brought in. He's coming on a free transfer. He's on quite high wages, but he's a very solid centre-back for the championship. Um, Endry Ferrati is not great. He's just a youngster. This guy. Oh, my God. Bogdan Navicius. I think I actually done all right with that one. We done all right with that one. Uh, he's really good. 18-year-old Lithuanian um look at some of these teamwork and so on and so forth we really want to mold him into a really really good player again this guy will be up for grabs uh, we'll let you know how you can enter that competition in just a moment pablo diaz another youngster we've brought in he's a left back and he's actually playing quite a few games for us so far take away the fact let's let's not look at his technicals mentals physicals amazing um but when you do look at the technicals they are nines 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 eights like if he gets them up to like tens elevens by the time he's 21 he's going to be a really really solid player uh, so really really happy to keep him or to get him and then arthur zagra has come in from watford this is going to be our main center uh, main left back he's going to come in play a key role and then diaz will just play behind him eight hundred thousand pounds we spent on uh zagra and he's only on a one-year deal as well we may be messed up there i think we've overspent a little but it is what it is uh mohammed zagnoon has gone out on loan that's one of our other left backs he hasn't really progressed as well as what we thought austin galadima who is an absolute beast 18 years old nigerian wish he could be playing for us but unfortunately does not have a work permit otherwise he would definitely be in our first team but unfortunately he has to be loaned out just so he can get some game time he's gone to oviedo in the spanish second division ryan duffy let's not even look at that uh oh also jamie boyce loaned out this is a youngster we've brought in and he is looking pretty tasty but he, like i say he's gone off to st george's um this guy we sold really not gonna miss jeremiah too much wasn't really progressing as well as what we thought um we got a decent price for him five hundred thousand pounds and then this guy another absolute beast who we brought in towards the back end of last season um ashley maswangangui i've butchered that as well uh south african ashley looks decent he looks very very good he's definitely going to improve he's 20 years old he hasn't improved too much from 19 to 20 to be honest um but let's see if we can get him working he has gone out on loan to western sydney warriors again without a work permit we can't really do much so we just have to loan them out 
big news though this is i've already been rambling enough this is catching you all up i know adam with this emote is still here he's still here he is wanted by a couple of clubs ipswich and just the one club now he's incredible absolutely incredible this guy 27 goals in 41 appearances last season he's got four goals in three appearances this season he's been absolutely on fire the bad news in his contract he has a minimum fee release clause of 2.3 million pounds every time we offer him a new contract that is in there and it's always always low like ridiculously low to the point where i can't really do much about it um it's definitely frustrating Let's hope no one comes in for him on deadline day. If he does, do we go in and try and replace him? I don't know. Um, I feel like we've maybe got enough strikers to get us through. But let's get through deadline day with you guys live. Uh, we're not going to talk about how our transfer budget has been depleted. Because we actually still have a little bit. We have about half a million. But I don't feel like I need anyone um, too badly. Uh, St. George's have made a loan approach for Mashashi Honda. We don't mind him going out there because that will keep him um, in the Isle of Man. And where was he on loan last season? So he's been with us. He hasn't been out on loan for another couple of years and he's going to be available for the national side if he gets his paperwork, if that ever happens. It's not happening with Charlie Wigger. I feel like there's a bug there. Uh, a bug that probably wouldn't come up much because I guess not many people would be doing building nations like this. Um... And wouldn't need that help so much so that's why i feel like for the national side to really boost the national side which is one of our main goals get the national side into a world cup proper or a european championships proper in order to do that we really do have to go and help the national divisions and boost football within the country um which is why once we get fc isle of man into the premier league and they're stable that's when we'll look to leave i'll be brute i'll be brutally disappointed if we were to leave and then they got relegated straight after. That would just be disastrous. I'd like to think, like, if we get them into the Premier League, maybe sign a couple of youngsters for them, I think then they'll probably be okay. Uh, not really much happening on deadline day. I thought I thought stuff would happen on deadline day, um, which is why I thought I'd save it for you guys. Um, again, they're talking about Adam Wadissimo. We really hope nothing happens with Wadissimo. Again, no messages are good at the moment. No messages are good. There's a couple of rumours banding around. We've got a couple of messages. That's fine. Let's quickly have a look at our scouting update just to see whether there is anyone we really, really want to bring in. There's an A plus for this guy. I don't see that. He's 24? What? Who's bid for him? Mansfield. Will Pryor. United. Oh, let's just double check United because there's a couple of potential loanies with them being our senior affiliate maybe there's some loanies we can get in now with it being deadline day it's the way to go uh, if we have a look at the biggest value dominic moore he's on 39 grand they're not going to allow him to come to us are they i mean we'll have a look high quality players fine alvaro andre he was on loan in the championship last season high quality players maybe fair enough Ossie mensa don't play wingers but you can play in the middle here why yeah let's go no wage contribution regular starter is fine boom i don't know whether he'll actually accept but we'll see luciano probably actually not good enough for us clive coopland not good enough for us scott booth not good enough uh, prince bollard we've actually looked at i don't know why okay i think that's probably gonna be about it i don't think any of these other guys really gonna be too much interest from ourselves so the only one we're really looking at is Fossu Mensa at this point um McBride would have been nice to be did we check McBride he's listed for loan I mean I'll take him if we can get him on no wage contribution I'd like to take this off because I might play him centre mid have to pay a little bit okay we'll pay a little bit we don't want to we don't want to piss united off they're our senior affiliate at the end of the day at least i think they still are surely they haven't dropped us pretty sure yeah united still are our senior affiliate 
um, which makes sense geographically with the Isle of Man being somewhat near Manchester and if you're from the Isle of Man you're known as a Manc uh, which is the same as what you're known as if you're from Manchester so um, does make sense geographically I don't actually think either of these two are going to accept coming to us quite frankly I think they'll both prefer, yeah they're both rejected sort of expected it um, Huddersfield and Watford have gone in for McBride he's probably going to go there to either of those both of them in the same division as us um, we'll show you the division in a minute there's some mad teams in in the championship including Everton um, which to be fair next season they might they might well be in the championship uh, we got the loan signing of the Brock uh, we've literally got three hours how many loan signings do we have in the team one two three four five I, s I swear he's actually signing for us soon his contract expires in like a couple of months Oh, that's just his loan contract. I thought we had signed him. Don't know why. I thought we had signed him. Let me just quickly go and have one last look. If we go into our player search, clear this, um, we'll just have a look at all players that are interested in a loan move. Don't mind doing it as, like, slightly interested, like, doubtful. It's fine. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to do it by transfer value. And see who's here. So you've got Ali Belcher. Not good enough. This guy from... But wow. Do we need another goalkeeper? He's 17. We can't. He's 17? Look how good he is for 17. That is incredible. We can approach the site. Oh, wow. Imagine he would actually be interested. I'd pay whatever we need to in compensation to get that deal done. Um, No... Roberts, decent header of the ball actually, 5 foot 11 though. Another guy from Club Bruges. I mean, Club Bruges have been very good to us. This goalkeeper is probably better than our. Our goalkeeper is actually alright. Goalkeeper isn't an issue for us now. It used to be, but it's not right now. Julian Costa, a centre back. Bonnets. Jesus, we're looking just to find a little. Golden gem in the rough. This guy actually is better than what he looks. He's got good stats and all the ones he needs in order to play his primary role. Which I'm assuming is a central midfield attack. I mean, if we play him in here, it's just dribbling he doesn't have. But this might not be a bad signing on loan. I might go for it. They're not going to do that though. Because he's not going to play it as a deep line. 13k a month. But say no. I don't want to give you 13k a month. Okay. Um, I don't think that's worth it. Gary Shaw from Manchester City. Not great. Moreno. Not great. Um, this guy's at Porto. Never really great Villarreal. He looks decent. Can play in the middle. Could probably play as a Mazella as well. Can play as a Mazella. He hasn't really got much pace about him. But that might not be a bad loan signing if we can get him in. But we don't mind paying. Don't want him. Don't want to guarantee a position for him. And I think if we're paying his wages, we shouldn't have to pay. A monthly fee. Oh, let's just try and lower this to like 5k. Or three and a half. Okay, 5k I think will work. Do you know what 6k? I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. I don't know whether there's going to be anyone better though. That's really going to work out for the team. And we'll quickly have one little look, just conscious of time. No, I think we're good with that. I think we're just good to go with that. Anyone who we might have missed, it is what it is. Like this guy is only 5'11". If he was like 6 foot, I probably would have gone for him. Wouldn't mind getting another Italian in. But uh, in general, I, all round, I think we're good. This Kosovian looks incredible. But we also do have a right back who is also very good. Ita Bilbao. Do you know what? We'll take this. 
we'll take that. Because Ida Bilbao is prone to an injury. I'd actually rather take the guy, the backup right back, because we don't have a secondary backup, the right back. Uh, Dylan Faulkner, I don't want to loan him out. And this is the right back. We can't take both of these. Yeah, I'm going to take the right back to give us more depth. We're going to cancel this. Sweet, I'm happy with that. We've got two very, very good right backs now. Um, I don't think he needs to actually be registered because he's under 21, but we'll put him in there. Doesn't need a intense language course, no? Okay. Surprising. That is very surprising. All right, guys, that is the end of the transfer window. We've managed to keep Adam with this emote, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, really, really happy with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump across to our first game against Barnsley. Let's go. Okay, so it is game day, boys, against Barnsley. 22nd in the league, or 21st at a push, maybe. Um, I think they've got about one point all season. We're flying high. Should be a pretty straightforward win. This is the team we're going to go with. So we've got Van Hoot in goal. Looking nice. Really, really good stats there for Van Hoot. Uh, Ita Bilbao, who we just mentioned at right back. Really, really solid right back on loan from Athletic Bilbao. Um, Dom Crot, you'll know about Dom Crot. Could be better, but generally has all the key stats. Um, Batshuayi is going to be playing in there as well, which is nice. Zagri, who we've already shown you. Van den Bok, we've shown you. Frank, uh, Yannick Bauer, back into the team. One of our followers gets back into the team after his injury. He can only play 60 minutes. Martin Curran, another one of our followers from Facebook. Look at those stats. Incredible. Just 21 years old. Really, really happy we've got him. Going to probably sell him for big money in the future. Uh, Mertens, who's been on loan with us from Club Bruges for probably about five seasons now. Uh, again, looking really good. Adam with this mode, let's swap him and Remit Burke around. And I think this is good. Remit Burke doesn't have the best finishing. Adam with this mode, though, is our number one goal scorer. So let's go and see how many goals he can put past Barnsley. Hopefully a couple. Let's get into it. I'm feeling good for this game. Uh, Zagri, um, was I not meant to? I think I was meant to not start Zagri. But I think it's just, I know he's got a knock, but I think it is just his fitness that is an issue. Um, so let's pump fists, go out there and give the fans their money's worth. So our first game back on YouTube. Let's get it off with a bang. Come on, Bill Bow. Up the right hand side. Can't really do much though. Boots on the left. Are we on key highlights? We're on extended, so we're just gonna pop this to key. We do like playing on key. Nice, there we go. Now Mertens. Oh, Curran. I mean, a lot of players have had disruptive um, pre-seasons. We've had a lot of injuries pre-seasons. We played a lot of games, caused a lot of injuries. Um, they are just coming back now. So there is a, quite a few players that aren't really up to their full standard just yet in terms of fitness and just in terms of playing ability. That could, could have easily been a card. No card, but it is going to be Bill Bow from the free kick, about 30 yards out. It looks like he's clipped the top of the upright there. Barnsley get away with that one. Um, let's go for a bit of encourage. We are playing on an attacking style. Zagri in the Tyanic Bauer. Back to Zagri. Martin Curran on the edge of the box. Let's try and work this ball in. I don't mind keeping hold of it. Rock to Yannick Bauer. Mertens. Oh, look at it. It's perfect football with this emo. Just over the bar from Wadissimo. Really, really well worked opportunity. We know Wadissimo can dispatch those goals. Um, Barnsley are on quite on the defensive at this point in time. Oh, oh is it the post? That was a bit of a shock. That's a warm up for the goalkeeper or a warning even. Um, maybe let's drop on to positive, I think. We're not dominating possession as much as I thought we would. Barnsley are actually playing all right. And they're coming forward here with Chambers on the left. Back into Fuchs, trying to force them back. That's a decent ball in and Popoff heads over the bar. He's onside then. Um, that's kind of worrying that we are struggling just a bit. 
after the great start we've had to the season, we now struggle against one of the... And to be fair, Bournemouth for like 18th, and we drew 3-3 with them. We were 3-1 down as well. Will McCann? Are you, are you serious? 1-0 down, 40 minutes gone. It's okay, positive vibes, boys, positive vibes. We'll get back into this. Uh, I think Yannick Bauer may be a mistake to start him. Um, clearly not ready, having a bad game. Um, is very tired. So we'll look to bring on a sub in a minute. We're going to make an attacking sub as well. Maybe put Mertens down into the central three. As the block, come on. Oh, where are you going? There you go, Mertens. With Dissimo, Mertens, with Dissimo. Oh, this guy is incredible. He is just absolutely insane, chat. It's the, the cheek to even go for that. Plays it for a great ball through from Mertens. Eye of the needle stuff. Boom, see ya. Get on the floor, lad. Sit down. Um, half time. Yannick Bauer. So let's put Curran into the ball winning midfield role. We're going to bring Mertens down in here. Then we're going to bring on Jacob Schmidt, who played against Derby and scored one, set up three. So we're bringing him in. We could have brought in uh, John Chichester then as well, but he's not really championship quality. He's been with us since like the Vanarama National League. He's probably League One quality. Um, he has progressed well enough over the last couple of seasons. I don't want to be an arsehole to him, so we'll keep him around. Uh, at least for a little while longer, hopefully for five years, so we can uh, then come and play for the national side as Bill Bow again is at the top of the woodwork from a free kick. Very, very deadly from those free kicks is Bill Bow. Martin Curran also having a bit of a stinker, and he's on a yellow, so I think I'm going to take him off. Um, I think Charlie Wiggett is probably the best bet. I could bring on Chichester actually. And move the Brock into here. Chichester goes and plays as the Carrillo. Um, I think that will be okay. Just load it up in this screen. I've already made the, the change now, so it's gonna happen. One way or another. Yeah, definitely Chichester. Okay, let's go with that. We don't need to do anything else in there. Who else isn't having a great game? Remit Burke not having a great game. So let's take off Remit Burke and we'll bring on Canarick. And Canarick is very good at finishing. He's got decent first touch. A deep line forward seems okay for Canarick. Needs some game time as well. As we look for the winner, Bill Bow from the corner. Crops. Oh, it's over the bar. This could be points dropped. This could be points dropped. I'm going to go attacking, and I'm going to go for a demand more. We could end up losing the game because I go attacking, but I want to try and get the win more than I am scared of losing. So, Burton's ah oh, Smith wasn't really a great pass. That's well won back by the Brock Zagri looking for with this moment again. It's a terrible pass. You've got to be doing better than that. The Brock gets it back. Schmidt. Chichester. That's a good pass. With this mo, he's laid it off to Canarick. Why didn't he go for goal? Canarick gets it back though. Bill Bow. I don't know why he didn't shoot. We might still score here. Still a chance though. Bill Bow. Decent ball. With this mo, Canarick. He's hit the post. Oh my god, how have we not scored? We're gonna lose now. It's guaranteed that they go and get a winner. After after we waste such a good opportunity. It's almost guaranteed that they get a winner here. Fisher on this left-hand side. Comes back, gets support from Gardner. Ball goes in. Pop, pop. He should have scored. He should have scored. He didn't. We get let off the hook. Chichester from the free kick. Bishop makes a good stop. Corner ball. Is there a late chance for us? Who's attacking this front post? There it is. Crotz over the bar. That might have been it. That might have been it. We're going to drop points to Barnsley. Um, it wasn't a bad game considering we had two or three players that haven't even played any football. We, we just brought them back into the team. Um, I thought even with bringing them back into the team, I thought we'd still be able to get the win. Didn't play as well as we can, but I'm happy with the result. 
Mm, no. Disappointed we didn't win considering we were on top? No. Um, I don't want to be overly critical though. Didn't get the result we wanted but we should be happy if we create that many chances. But we also gave away too, too many chances. I'm going to go with this. I'm going to say we didn't play well but I'm happy with the result. Because at least then that tells them we didn't play well. Um, and that was the main thing. Uh, so what we'll do then to end the episode we'll just show you the league table as it stands right now we are currently in sixth unbeaten so far this season um the next episode is going to be coming out on sunday nights so what we'll do is we'll sim over the uh international break and we'll probably come back for i guess let's come back for the ipswich game and the peterborough Carabao cup third round game maybe i want to try and get cup games in there so that's where we're going to center the episodes around um, so you might miss two games and then we'll come in and play two. You might miss two and come in and play two. Something along those lines. Because um, obviously we, we don't want the seasons to be really slowed down. We still want to be pumping through them because it's a very, very long save. Um, so yeah, there will be games played off, off camera. But yeah, guys, I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to smash that like button if you haven't done so already. We're going to need to try and hit this YouTube algorithm to do a little bit better on youtube as we've never really done all that great but yeah guys if you are also interested in f1 manager make sure you are checking out the facebook page link in the description come and join some of our live streams it is super super fun we're managing aston martin at the moment really grinding for points uh, so it'll be good to see you over there to everyone who's come over from the facebook page to watch really do appreciate it and we'll catch you when we are next live on friday this friday we'll be live maybe thursday mrs let's me Get live first day.